What's up guys, it is Veruth Gnome here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the new PCA Online update, uh, coming out in a few days. I mean, unless you've been living under a rock, or you're very much not part of the PCA community, um, then you can know that this update is the first ever map expansion that we're getting for this game, which is... Needless to say, Major. Um, obviously, we're getting a new faction as well with um, El Rubio's Cartel. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of needless to say just by the fact that I've ground out in the past few weeks the most amount of money I've ever had at one time. Um, in this game. And also, I think the most important thing about this heist is going to be the fact that it can be done solo. This is a complete first for GTA Online. Um, even the casino heist and the doomsday heist require two players at some point. And even for some of the preps, in both heists, it's highly recommended to have both, or to have multiple players, rather. Um, but yeah, this update, it's kind of needless to say it's the biggest update we've ever gotten. I mean, the biggest change we've ever gotten to the map is actually what I'm heading towards right now, the casino. And it's not like we haven't had changes to the map over the past few years. Like we had the bunkers, the facilities, the nightclubs, at least in some minor way. And changed some of the buildings. But this, this was by far the biggest until now. Where we're getting a whole new map. And honestly, I have very high hopes for this update. Because I, I'm not sure if they're based in very much fact, but I have beliefs that this island will be available in free mode. Now the island is not the only thing we're getting- oh, I was going for- <laughs> I was going for a under the bridge stunt there, but never mind. Um, mm, there we go. But yeah, so, as much as I want this island to be in free mode, I could almost understand if it isn't, because the only reason I'm getting remotely smooth frames right now is, and you can check back even in my older GTA videos, um, and just watch the frame rate. Mind you, that was from 2018. Like, the last time I uploaded any GTA was 2018, and the frames were still awful. Um, actually, no. God damn. Uh, it wasn't even 2018, it was 2017. I think the last GTA video I did was, uh, Doomsday Heist? And god damn, does it make me feel old. Uh, um, the fact that Doomsday Heist is three years old now. Um, and also, speaking of uh, heist, um, they're kind of, Rockstar's kind of bucking a trend that they've I had for the past few years with heists, where they release a heist update every two years. Um, pretty much, 2015 we had the uh, original heist update. Uh, um, in 2017 we had Doomsday, and 2019 we had the Diamond Casino heist. And, well, you would think you know, that Oh, uh, oh shit. Well, that didn't go well. Um, anyway, you- Come on. You'd think- Ah, <laughs> uh, goddamn, I suck in this thing. You would think uh, that going by that trend, this update would be releasing in December 2021. Not this year. This is the first year they've released, um, or this in 2019, or the first two years back to back where they release heist updates and um 
fucking yeah. Also, I mm, there is another thing I'm having high hopes for with this heist. It's mainly the fact that it feels like this heist might even have an end game, judging by how Ross Surf worried at the newswire post. Uh, um and basically, the main goal of this heist is collecting evidence against El Rubio, who is the main protagonist, or not protagonist, antagonist of this update. Um, but yeah, there, that almost alludes to there being some kind of endgame, which is actually something the Diamond Casino heist really lacked. Um, also, well, speaking of something that heists are lacking, um, this heist is going to be lacking Lester, judging by what we've seen from the trailer, from the teaser, everything. It's seeming like Lester is not going to be a part of this update. Which, while it's going to be a bit jarring not having Lester on the heist, um, I feel like they kind of did a good job of ending off his character in uh, the Diamond Casino heist. But yeah, I am super excited for this update, and I, for the first time ever, I've covered... Well, actually, I've only covered one of the four heist updates. Um, but unlike my dime or unlike my doomsday heist stream, Jesus Christ, if I could get that right. Anyway, um unlike my doomsday heist stream, I am going to be streaming the entire heist on one stream on release day. Um Yeah. I wasn't able to do that with the I uh, didn't say heist simply because there were points that required two players. Um, you know, but this heist is completely solo friendly. Now, whether the pay is going to be good doing it solo, that's a question for release day. But, um, honestly, actually, speaking, I'm getting in this thing because. I'm, or I'm super excited for the weaponized boats. That's probably going to be the first thing I'm going over in my uh, update stream. Well, alright. Let's be honest here. Aside from the weaponized vehicles, I'm going to wait probably on my stream to um, go over the vehicles. I'm not going to do the same thing that I did with LS Summer Special. But yeah, I'm going to be doing the entire heist on one stream. And no matter how long it takes. Um, this could easily be my longest stream to date. And granted, I somehow managed to pull out my um, OS Summer Special stream to around two and a half hours. So, yeah, I don't exactly know how I managed to get a small update to last that long on a stream. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I'm not going to really be covering anything regarding GTA until the update comes out. However, I do have a brand new series coming tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, see you guys in this one. Talk to you guys later. Peace!